Hello, um, I'm Matthew. Um, I'm the writer of Fool's Gold. Uh, Fool's Gold is a science fiction play about money, creativity, and how we decide something's value. Uh, it's inspired by ideas around the invention of money, the creation of debt, and the history of alchemy. Uh, I was interested in how money filters into every element of our lives and uh, the question of do we earn to live or live to earn. I um, hope this is a funny and entertaining drama. Uh, that asks complicated questions about finance, class, and family. Hope you enjoy it. The flat, filled with smoke, alarm blaring. Cats jumped up and down trying to reset the smoke alarm. Shopping bags scattered across the floor. Anil fans from his face with a copy of the racing post. He makes his way to the source of the smoke, the stove, and turns it off. Cat successfully resets the alarm. That was close. Good job we were outside. This whole place could have gone up. Baby! 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 Wait, who's Baby? She's my sister. She did this. Be forgetful. Something like that. Nice little place you've got here. She's always daydreaming. Cute when she was 12, now she's 17, not so much. No, I'm the eldest of three. You don't need to tell me. Let me guess. Parents let her get away with murder? You knew him? Sort of. Um, well, I grew up here, but I've been living down in London and just moved back. That makes sense. It's not often we get new faces. Do you like it here? The town or the flat? Both. It's a shithole. The town or the flat? Both. The town is dead and the landlord's a wanker. And how so? He's been a real prick to Phoebe in the past. Accused her of setting fire to the flat. <laughs> Look, I know it looks bad, but the way he spoke to her, it, it wasn't right. She's still just a kid. Anyway, we won't be here for much longer. Can't stay in this town, it drags you down. Where to? Don't know yet. Maybe London, maybe Birmingham. Somewhere which still has life. I've got a new job, so just saving for a deposit. Congrats, what do you do? I work at QuickBook. The payday loan company? Yeah. Are they as bad as everyone says? They get a lot of bad press. Glorified loan shark, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. Uh, sorry. Where are my manners? forgot where I was for a moment. <laughs> it's really I, I didn't mean to cause offence. It's really not as bad as everyone makes out. In reality, getting a payday loan is no different from getting a credit card or a mortgage. Good class analysis. Sorry? Late stage capitalism. Wage slavery has been usurped by debt slavery. I'm um, sorry, uh... Marxism. Oh, right. Are you into class politics? Oh, no. Most of that stuff just goes over my head. That's not that complicated. Uh, I can lend you some books if you like. No, it's fine. I don't want to bother. Uh, it's not bother. What did you say you do? I'm sort of um, between careers at the moment. I see. No, not like that. Uh, I'm kind of managing the family business. Well, helping my mum out. My dad recently passed away. Oh my God, I, I'm so sorry. It's fine. We weren't exactly close. We disagreed on most things. Sometimes parents are more trouble than they're worth. Tell me about it. So. Which flat's yours? I don't live here. But Dan says you had keys. I don't live here. I own, well, my family uh, own the building. You're the landlord? Kind of. Oh, shit. Your dad. Well, technically my mum is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Your dad isn't a wanker. Wasn't a wanker. Oh, crap. Listen, relax. I know better than most of them. My dad wasn't the most reliable of people. He wasn't a great dad, and I suspect he wasn't a great landlord. I'm sure there are worse. I can't change how my dad did business, but I can see he didn't exactly look after these flats. Well, he was quite old, and a lot of the tenants aren't the cleanest residents. You don't need to make excuses for him. My dad treated his properties like a cash cow. He did the bare minimum of what the law expected. He exploited poor and vulnerable people. 
I'm not vulnerable. No, uh, uh, of course not. Not you, but people like your sister. What I'm saying is, I don't want this building to be a bunch of flats for people. I want this to be a safe space for residences. I want tenants to be proud to call this their home. I want to be more than someone's landlord. I want to be their friend. Now, now that I'm running the family business, things are going to change. You going to bring the rent down? Um, no, but I will make it better value for money. Say for, for one thing, how old is this smoke alarm? Dunno. It looks ancient. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm replacing that. Well, it, it still works. Well, that's not the point. But maybe have a word with your sister about leaving the stove on. That would be safe and sorry. Yeah, of course. I'm a Neil, by the way. Cat. I I'm going to head. I've got a tip of the 4.30 at Newcastle. When's a good time to pop around with the new smoke alarm? Uh, I'm off all day tomorrow, so any time. Cool. Uh, I'll come about 11 a.m. I'll bring some books about Marxism as well, if you want. Oh, you don't need to bother. No trouble, really. See you around. Great. What the hell happened in here? Huh? You've been shopping? Phoebe? Waitress, that's posh. There was smoke everywhere when I came in. Yeah, burnt some cheese on toast. Burnt cheese on toast doesn't look like this. Well, duh, finished it now. Ew, olives, hummus, ugh, where's the fish fingers? I thought it would be nice to treat ourselves, try something new for a change. Where are the fish fingers? They're cheap, processed and frozen. Where are the fish fingers? This is proper food. Now I have a proper job, we don't need fish fingers. I like fish fingers. From now on, we don't need to eat any of that crap anymore. No more tins of baked beans. No more meals you can only cook with a kettle. No more sharing a bag of microwave rice between the two of us. We'll be eating gourmet food from now on. Fresh foreign ingredients. We'll have a smashed avocado, halloumi, kale. What did I ever do to hurt you? You set fire to the kitchen. Uh, see, I didn't set fire, I just created a lot of smoke. No smoke without fire. Ah, see, that's actually a common misconception because many materials begin to smoke before they catch fire. Right, that's it. The chemistry kit its going in the bin. You can't do that. Yes, I can. You can't keep doing your experiments in the flat. They're dangerous. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Yeah, but I'm so close to a breakthrough. <laughs> a breakthrough in what? Are you making drugs? No. Are you stupid? Don't call me stupid. Well, what should I call someone who's making drugs? I'm not! Drugs are boring! What are you doing that's so important? It's worth burning the fat down for. You wouldn't understand. Well, you're gonna have to tell me now or it's all going in the bin. You'll laugh. I won't. Please tell me. Are you aware of the term alchemy? Yeah, it's like magic. Well, no, it's actually a form of science. So. The ancient Egyptians were the very first alchemists, and Isaac Newton was the last great alchemist, but at least in this country anyway. <laughs> right, so it's another word for scientist then. Yeah, but it's a very particular type of science. It's the science of turning base metals into gold. What? You know, lead into gold. That's what you're doing? <laughs> Fucking magic. It's not magic, it's science. So why you nearly burnt the flat down? <laughs> Christ, Phoebe. You need to start living in the real world. I am! And I think that could be really close to making a breakthrough. Hey, and if I succeed, and if I create gold, then that's all of our problems solved. No more damn flats. No more food banks. I kind of wish you were making drugs now. You <laughs> nearly destroyed our home because of some fantasy. It's not a fantasy. And hey, if I succeed, then think of what this could mean for us and for our town. You don't need to worry about money anymore. The new landlord's going to appreciate it if you burn the entire building down. New landlord? Yeah. Mr B died. His <laughs> son's taking over. Oh, lol. Phoebe! A man's died! Show some respect! Yeah, he was a wanker. I, I know, but still. Anyway, his son seems different. <laughs> All landlords are wankers. Well, Anil actually seems really nice. <laughs> really nice? What, do you fancy him at something? No! 
believe it or not, men and women can be friends. You don't need to fancy someone to think they're nice. Hmm. Is he fit? I mean, technically, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. You would have bone the landlord. <laughs> You're so vulgar. <laughs> not that it's any of your business, but we have had a very intelligent conversation. He says he wants to change things around here, make these flats better to live in. All right, is he going to bring the rent down? No, but he gave this whole speech about these flats being homes, not just bricks and mortar. Well, they're both. What? Well, the flats are homes, but they're also bricks and mortar. Like, you wouldn't want to live in a flat that wasn't made out of bricks and mortar. He meant it as a metaphor. Oh, trust you to fancy a guy that uses metaphors. I don't fancy him. And I'm not trying to stop you from eating fish fingers. I just think it would be nice if occasionally we tried new things. Do you want to try new things with the landlord? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I want to broaden our horizons, expand our culinary experience. You want a nil to broaden your horizons and expand <laughs> your culinary experiences. <laughs> <laughs> the food isn't meant as a punishment. It was meant to be a celebration. A celebration of what? My first paycheck in a new job. Went to the other side of town for it and everything. Yeah, but why would you want to celebrate your job? Because it's actually going really well, thanks for asking. I'm really starting to settle in. Jeff's great and the whole team really supportive. <laughs> and the funniest thing happened today. <laughs> Seriously, it was so funny. So what happened? I was pissing myself. So there's this customer who is a complete arsehole. Always, always being an arsehole, complete nightmare for months. Always missing repayment deadlines. And when he can't get his own way, starts getting abusive. Anyway, he came strutting into the office today. All right, fuckers, today's my last repayment. What, he swore at you? I work at a payday loan company. People always swear at me. Anyway. He's given us all this, mouthing off how he'll never have to see us again. We're all vermin. We're going to hell. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so he makes the payment, gives us the bees like that, and then goes to leave when Jeff, without missing a beat, says, see you next month. And he's all like, I don't know what you're talking about. And Jeff repeats, see you next month for your next payment. You still owe us £247.69. <laughs> and the arrogant bastard just burst into tears. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> it's the way Jeff said it. It's not funny. <laughs> Maybe you had to be there. That man's trying to get debt free and you're bullying him. Uh, I'm not. He started it. He swore at me. Me, your sister, who pays the rent and on certain occasions buys you fish fingers. Yeah, but he's obviously very stressed. Not my fault. If he can't pay it back, he shouldn't be taking the loan. It's cruel. It's all perfectly legal. We provided a service that people want and need. We give them all the information up front before they sign the contract. Not our fault if we don't read the small print or they don't understand it. Well, it's immoral and I think you should quit. <laughs> Quit? Hmm. And how am I going to pay the rent if I quit? Hmm? Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. I'm not planning on being there forever. I'm just working there until we have enough money to move. Sometimes we have to do things we don't like in order to earn a living. But what if you didn't? Like, what if you could make money out of nothing? No more horrible crap jobs. Some of us have to live in the real world, Phoebe. The rent bills your bloody fish fingers they all cost money my job might be horrible and cruel but sometimes you have to do things you don't like to earn a living right if if you don't enjoy it why don't you just get another one because it's the one that pays best if we want to get out of this shitty town but this town's our home oh, i want to live somewhere with craft beer bars street food cafes but We've got all that. We've got cafes, pubs and burger vans on the high street. Not the same. We need to be somewhere with a future. Right, so that's why you work a shitty job? It's not. They treat me really well. <laughs> Jeff's the best manager I've ever had. And actually, I'm good at it. Most of the time I enjoy it. Most of the time I help people. 
And laughing at that complete arsehole doesn't make me a bad person. It's just gallows humour. Survival method. But what if there was a better way to make money? <laughs> By turning lead into gold. It's a real science. Speaking of science, you know, the Waitrose is just around the corner from the college. So? Popped in. Said they still have a place. Oh, I'm not going to college. But you love doing all your science experiments. Why don't you just enrol and see how it goes? I'm not going back to school. College isn't the same as school. Yeah, but it's the same people, though. It's the other side of town. Look, I'm happy with my experiments. You can't keep doing them in the flat. <laughs> Your care's evicted. You could really benefit from college. They have teachers who can give you advice and feedback and... But other people don't think like me. The teachers slow me down. They're only interested in tests. Like, if you can't write it down, then it doesn't matter. I just don't want you to waste your talents. You've got a real passion for science. You could even go to university. Ugh. So that's why you've been to Waitrose, to bribe me. That's not much of a bribe. All you've done is complain. Just at least consider it. I don't want you to throw away your future. Yeah, but if I succeed, then that's our future made. I won't have to go to college and you could quit your shitty job. Stop calling it that. Oh, it's horrible and it's cruel. Well, I'm sorry, but it's the only job I can get in this dead-end town that pays enough to look after both of us. So either I keep working there or you have to get a job yourself. In the real world, you need a better plan than just magicking up money. Why not? It's what you do. I work for my money. Yeah, you work in a place that makes money appear from nowhere. It's not from nowhere. People turn up at your work with no money, they fill in some forms, and then you just put the details into a computer and the money just magically appears in the bank account. It's a bit more complicated than that. It's a loan. People have to pay it back. It's not free money. Yeah, neither is alchemy. You know, it costs to turn lead into gold. For every reaction, there's an opposite reaction. Yeah, if it was possible, then everyone would be doing it, wouldn't they? The government would be employing their top scientists to make gold. Yeah, but it's a secret science. So the people that succeeded in doing it, they never told anybody how they did it. So how come you know how to do it? Well, people leave clues, like puzzles and riddles, and I figured it out. You figured it out? Mm -hmm. How? You won't even enrol at college. I think differently. So you, you only see what's in front of you, but I see the whole picture. Well, Isaac Newton, let's see it. Let's see if you've turned metal into gold. Hmm? Joy, it's not finished yet. They struggle over the saucepan. Uh, Cat succeeds in getting the saucepan off Phoebe. Cat opens the lid. There is a bright yellow glow. The experiment has worked. Blackout.